See what's happening this instant. ABC 11 Eyewitness News at 7 starts right now. This morning on Eyewitness News, the plane crash that left two dead in Siler City under investigation this morning. A closer look as this crash marks the fifth so far in North Carolina this year. Plus, drawing the districts that make up our state. What's at stake as a judge makes a decision that will impact how you vote? Plus, a new proposal is underway. It could boost the fine if you're caught littering. We'll tell you more about that push from lawmakers. Good morning, Carolina. It is Saturday, June 15th. I'm Sydney Schofield. Anthony has the weekend off, so you're stuck with me this morning. The top stories, all the day's news just ahead. But first, let's give you a live look outside at Downtown Raleigh as you start off your weekend. That's sure a gorgeous shot. We got Steve in the house this morning. Steve, lots of blue sky. Are we seeing blue sky all day today? Pretty much. There'll be a few fair weather clouds a little bit later on, but that's about it. If you're heading down uh, to Pinehurst to watch round three, temperatures upper 80s to around 90 or so. Again, fair weather clouds later in the day, a little on the hot side, but uh, overall should be okay. 94 yesterday, hottest day of the year out at RDU. Slightly cooler today at around 91. 99 of 48 are the records on this day. Had that one shower that moved right across Wake County early this morning. Uh, a little bit of thunder too, and that's been waning ever since. Looks like another little shower trying to spawn here, but there's a front that's pushing on through, and that front is going to bring in a little bit drier air. And speaking of dry, we really don't have rain in the forecast for the next week. Well, the core of the high this week is going to be set up to our north. We're going to be dealing with some dangerous conditions with heat to the north in the Ohio Valley up from Chicago all the way to the northeast. We're going to be hot, but not nearly as bad as our friends in family off to the north. Meantime, temperatures 70s for your walk this morning. Touch humid early on, mid 80s as we get to the midday hour. Humidity should start to creep down a little bit with that flow coming out of the north during the course of the day. Still partly cloudy skies out there, but the roads have dried up after that uh, heavy rain we had this morning. Mainly low to mid 70s. <laughs> Siler City, you're out to lunch there. Be nice if you were in the 40s, but that's just not the case. Closer to 70. Evening plans if you're heading to Walnut Creek. Hardy, the quit tour, 80 at 6. This one starts at 645, getting down to the upper 70s by later in the evening hours. Long stretch of 90s coming our way. Could be even hotter next weekend. More on that in a few minutes, Sid. Oof. All right, Steve. Thank you. Developing now a deadly plane crash in Siler City last night. At least five. Th this makes at least five, five plane crashes in North Carolina so far this year, particularly with small airplanes. Chopper 11 captured video of the plane crash from Friday night. The charred remains of the woods there after the plane caught fire. It is too early to tell the cause of this crash. In fact, it could take up to a year before we find out the official cause. The FAA and NTSB are investigating. They say an investigator should start documenting the scene, examining the aircraft at some point today. We're also still waiting to learn more about the two people who lost their lives in this crash.